to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Flying Squirrels of Richmond and the Montgomery Biscuits. And now, please welcome your Montgomery Biscuits. Brent Honeywell, a right-handed Georgia native, gets the starting nod. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has that gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties, and if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. Striding in is Will Wilson. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Fouled away. The one two. No, that's the ball. Stays alive, still two and two. Coming down in buckets, cats and dogs. Insert metaphor here, and the forecast is not showing any signs of relief. Total agreement, Matt, in particular that pitcher's mound. You know, one of the things you have to really be careful, not just for the position players, but that mound gets awfully slippery and awfully wet when it becomes moist like it is right now. So the umpires are going to have to really pay attention to the conditions on the field. The 1-1. One, one. Waves and misses for strike number two. One, two to count. One out, nobody on. And he oh. takes strike three called, and it's a pair of punch outs that begin the ball game. The main job of the number one and two hitters that is to hurt. set the middle of the order up with an opportunity Marco. to do some damage. So Luciano. when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it through the teeth of the lineup without a whole lot of stress. In now, Marco Luciano. Down is four. Trying to Three, nibble two. here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Gigliotti is underneath this one, and he will make the catch, so that'll do it. So a rather pedestrian start to the top half of the first. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Sean Jelly, a native of Minnesota, gets the starting nod. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three, but if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. And now in the box, Xavier Edwards. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. One and two. Get weekly back to the mound. And the leadoff man in the inning will get the job done here. It's an infield single. Hey, I can only take you inside the mind of the batter right here. Had a lot of swinging bunts in my day. Soon as that ball hits the dirt in front of you, you are getting it down the first baseline. When you smell a knock, I don't care what it looks like, you are getting it down the line. At the plate now is Michael Gigliotti, runner at first to start the inning. And, Dan, when it comes to pitching in the rain, what changes? I think the most difficult part, Matt, is the ball gets slippery. It's hard to keep your hands dry. And if you don't have a good feel in that grip, it's hard to control where you're going to throw the ball. There's strike two on a fastball right down the middle. Round of 
the left side. There's one. On to first, and they turn the double play. Batting third for the right fielder, Ryan. Bolt. So now into the box is Ryan Bolt. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Into the windup and the pitch. Hit out towards second. And this will get through into right and he's aboard with a single. Batting four. The second baseman. To the plate now, Miles Mastroboni. Oh. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. <laughs> Popped up, and no one will get this one. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Here's the pitch on two and two. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. We'll move on to the second now at Truist Park with no score. New inning set to get underway. And next it'll be the outfielder, Hunter Bishop. 1-1. One, one. Hey, I couldn't tell from up here if the hitter was taken all the way or sitting fastball and just got knee buckled. Either way, that was a really good curveball right there. Move on to the next pitch, but have that in the back of your mind. Ah, and the screwball got him swinging one gun. That's a pretty impressive pitch from a young arm like that. If you could spot That's your pitches good. there and They're advantage good. counts like one That's and two, you're going to have a lot of strikeouts and soft contact. Stepping in now, Patrick Bailey. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Well, his stuff looks electric coming out of the that gates in this one, guys. That's five hitter. batters faced, Luis four strikeouts. Zeridio. That's going to be a tough pace to keep up, but it looks like he has what it takes to work deep into this game. At the plate now, Luis Toribio. Lined into left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Boy, this was a good start for the pitcher. First five guys, five up, five down, but the number six hitter proved to be a little bit more difficult, and that's a bullet hit. Yeah, absolutely right there, Dan. Just a nice A-B by the six-hole guy after watching his first five brethren take a seat. Into the box now, Jason Krizan. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. Now a move over to first. He's taken. A dive, but he's back. Toribio is off of first with two away. Looks Ball. at a fastball no. inside, so he's in the driver's Ball. seat. Three one and one. Strike. Misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. Well, he made quick work of the first two guys this half inning, getting two quick outs, but then he gives up a base hit and now the walk. We'll see if he has it in him to draw the line in the sand and get out of this. Next to hit, Jacob Gonzalez. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Ready with the 1-1. One, one hit the other way out toward right field and the inning will end as they're unable to cash in with two outs bottom of the 
inning now. And here comes the first baseman, Dalton Kelly. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. The that's different. the ultimate challenge pitch. And for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Into the box, Blake Hunt. 2-1 pitch is a fastball two, two. swung on and missed 2-2. Two and two. You know, on a cold night like this, I think you're going to see him continue to elevate pitches and let these guys just fly out to the warning track. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. You know what was really impressive to me about that strikeout? He fell behind 2-0 to start the at bat. That's a pretty bad place to be, but then he kind of refocused himself and came right back with three quality pitches in a row to sit him down. That's not easy to do, but now his focus has to hone in on getting ahead on the next guy. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And what an effort on the running play to end the inning. Nothing doing here this half. We play full, and we are tied nothing, nothing. So here is Luis Matos, and he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. The one, two. Ball. I love everything this Two pitcher's ball. got working Two right strike. now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early Ooh. feel for his off-speed stuff. And did he hold up in time? A look down, and no, he went around at strike three. Standing in now, Will Wilson. Ball Fastball, three. and hmm, looks like three they're one. pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Three and two, full count. Fly ball right down the line and left. Left fielder giving chase. He makes the running play. Two down. That'll bring up Elliot Ramos. Elliot. 0 for 1 went Whoa. down looking his first time up. Yeah, and a borderline call, Matty. I don't know. I got to feel like he's got to build a rapport with this umpire, this AB. See how far he'll go in or out. He can't allow himself to go down looking again. Hey, with two outs in the number two hole, you're just trying to get on. You got the big boys coming up behind you. Payoff pitch home. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. Back on it is the left fielder. A leap, but he can't bring it back into the park. It's a home run. A solo shot here to left. As they get on the board first, it's one to nothing. Well, two outs, two strikes, and he blasted one. Just goes to show the inning isn't over until the final out is secured. And that'll drive you crazy as a pitcher. Almost escaped, but couldn't close the deal. In now, Marco Luciano. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Gigliotti is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. We play two and a half. Richmond leads this one one to nothing. So now here is John Diaz as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Ball. Here's no. a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. 
You do not want to walk the eight-hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine-hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Wilson stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Got it gone. The left Ready left. now is Nico Holsizer. Bases are empty. One man out. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. The batter number nine. So the lineup flips over and digging in Xavier Edwards as he'll dig into the left-handed batter's box. Yeah, he's not quite as powerful on the left side. He's certainly not Chipper Jones, who had pop from both sides of the plate. Much more Ball. pop hitting right-handed. Even count, two balls and two strikes. And he popped him up. Luciano onto the grass. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Three innings complete. The Squirrels lead it one to nothing. So now it'll be the four hole hitter. Hunter Bishop comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Well hit the other way again. It's into the gap. He's around first, heading for two. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. When you heard the crack of the yeah, bat, yeah. you just knew that was going to get down for an extra base hit. Great way to start an inning, that's for sure. At the plate, Patrick Bailey. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Ball. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. A runner at second. Nobody out. This one oh, sinks low ball, and a touch three. outside. It's a full count three and two. Wow. Talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. That's in there. Base hit. And they'll get it in quickly. It's first and third now with nobody out. Now that, I know this guy hit. isn't known for his hitting mm -hmm. prowess, but that's a mm -hmm. nice job right there. Getting a single on a 3-2 pitch in the middle of the zone. Grab your glove and flash some leather. At the plate now, Luis Toribio. Oh. He's fallen behind now, 3-1. and one. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit in now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. Catch is made in medium deep left center. Here comes the runner for the plate. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. Boy, this would look like it was headed for extra bases off the bat. Instead, a line drive bullet caught in the alley. But he does end up getting a sacrifice fly. Into the box now, Jason Krizan. Good battle, count remains full. Bailey stands at first with one out. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down in the zone, hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. Stepping in now, Jacob Gonzalez. And one not 12. a real good cut at that two slider, five. and he's behind one and two. To short. Scooped up. Uh, the throw hey, pulls him off the bag. Usually these guys turn that 6-4-3 double play in their sleep, but it looks like 
He rushed the feed just a little bit. You have to be sure to get at least one out. Now the guy on the mound can pick up the defense. Into the box, Luis Matos. Ball. And a slider runs away Wait, from him there, ball. and the count Keep levels at two and two. Now two and two. This is the pitch where you want to attack the zone. If you go three and two, then you put the runners in motion. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Out in front here is this one scorched foul to the left. Ready with another 2-2. And he struck him out his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. So it's one run on two base hits, two costly errors, and two men left on base. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. The flying squirrels are on top, two to nothing. Now to the plate, here is Michael Gigliotti. He's set to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Hey, Matty, they need to get some offense going in this one. Getting a run back in this inning, give them a little bit of confidence that they can keep up in this game. Drive. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. So now to the plate, Ryan Bolt. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Into the windup and the pitch. And here's a pitch oh, inside, and that got him. Yeah, I can hear the crowd murmuring now, no wondering Number if he two. hit him on purpose. Second but hey, man. us pitchers need to be Mario. able to throw inside, especially Mario. when facing okay. hitters as dangerous as he is. Pretty sure this one just got away from him, and hey, that's part of the game. In now, Miles Mastroboni. Lifted down the line in left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Throw into third. And he's safe. No, he's in there. And I think that may have been a situation where the runner on first now was that. waiting to see if the ball was going to get down or not. If there were two outs, he most likely scores there. Instead, he has to hold it third. Can't really fault him for that, though. Standing in now, Dalton Kelly sent in the air out to straightaway center. Catch will be made here. Tagging is the runner from third. And they are on the board with the sack fly as this is now a two-to-one game. So stepping in is Blake trying to bring in the tying run from third here. Men on third with two down. And here's a slider that misses below the knees. It's ball four. Well, when you go with a the slider there in a full count, you're hoping that the hitter is thinking fastball and swings through it. Didn't work out that way, though. He lays off and gets the free pass. Striding in is Austin Shinton. The potential tying run for him at third base. The 1-1. One, one. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to 2-1 now. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. The set and the 2-1. and one. Good two, two. fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. This guy uh, will leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. Clearly fired up to work out of that jam. Back to Truist Park following this.
ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring in the second baseman, Will Wilson. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Long run for the center fielder. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first down. Next up is Elliot Ramos. It was a solo shot for him in his last at-bat. Well, Matty, we know he's got the timing on the fastball locked in. That's what he got a hold of on that home run in the previous at-bat. You do not come off the heater. Have to be leery of the off-speed. But stay on the fastball. He's got to throw it again. Fastball. Whoa, look out. That just about got him in the he went deep earlier, so that might have been a little bit of a message they were trying to send to get him off the plate. At the very least, they're clearly trying to get him from getting his arms extended again. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. I always like watching pitchers that attack with their fastballs until there's a reason to start mixing it up. He hasn't needed many of the secondary pitches so far on this one, and there was another good fastball for a strikeout there. At the plate, Marco Luciano. Count remains full. Another full count pitch home. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and standing in is the DH, John Diaz. Here comes the one two. That's popped up. Krizan trying to get there, and this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. The one two is a breaking ball that can't find the zone, and it's even a two. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. The 2 2. High in the air out towards shallow right. Matos is in a few steps as he takes it for the first down. The left fielder, Digging in next, Nico Holsizer. Both for one for him here in this one. Foul straight back. Popped up. And there's out number two. The batter number nine. Back to the top of the order now. And striding into the box next is Xavier Edwards. The 1 1 home is taken Go. for ball two. That's going to even up the count at two and two. I know that fastball registered at about 92 93 but I guarantee you it looked about that will have to press pause is that strike three to retire the side. Both teams battling the elements thus far but we've got a tight game through five. Back to Truist Park following this. Your Colin Poche takes over to start Alfred the sixth inning on the mound. Michigan. Number 38, Colin Poche. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And next to bat will be the outfielder, Hunter Bishop. The 3 1. Finds the zone to fill the count 3 and 2. Hey, excellent job to get yourself back in this count after throwing three consecutive balls. You got a chance to get an out right here. And the payoff pitch. Tough pitch to lay off, but he did, and it's ball four, so the leadoff hitter is aboard to start the sixth. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this inning when you're looking to pad the lead. Could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. 
next to stand in is Patrick Bailey. He's one for two in the ball game. Popped up, and this is going to wind up a foul ball. Another payoff pitch. Oh, he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Stepping in now, Luis Toribio. In there, one and two now. Bishop, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. Taken oh. off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the Playing corner. Two. Two. Early swing there as he pulls it foul to the right side. Fouled away. Another try at 2 2. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Well, Sizer is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now, batting. Now, in Jason Krizan. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. The one and two pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Highway Tang enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 51, Highway Tang. Into the box, Michael Gigliotti. He went down on strikes last time up. Lifted in the air toward the line in right. Matos is there and he has it for the out. And now, Ryan Bolt. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one, two. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Pitch is taken high and away that to fill the count. It's three and two. Popped up. And he'll put this away for the second out. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Miles Mastroboni. He doubled his last time through. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. Lifted down the line in left. And it's a foul ball. Now another 2 2. A bouncer to the left side. Reined in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Head is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 58, 
Lewis. Stepping in once again is Jacob Gonzalez. He was able to reach base thanks to an error in his last at bat. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Pops this one up. Kelly might try to make a play on it, and this is going to be a foul ball. The next 3 2. Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. Well, we've seen some really good pitching from these guys on this one. The bullpen has looked sharp and have backed up a nice effort turned in by the starter. These days, pitching has become a full staff effort, and I've been impressed with the job these guys have done so far. At the plate now, Luis Matos. Just a bit low. A tough call, but it's two and two. And now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. We're in the seventh inning now. The pitcher's duel, two to one, our score. Breaks his bat as this one's popped up. Throw in time at first for route number two. The batter number two. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Will Wilson. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. And here's a ball hit in the air. And it's a foul ball. That misses and we're even at 2 and 2. Two out, nobody on. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Field it cleanly. Throw cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. Richmond leads this one two to one. Stepping up is Dalton Kelly. It was an RBI sack fly for him last time through. Fouled off. Again, a one two. Ball. Playing two, two, two. And that's a fair ball lined to the right side. Yeah, definitely not the execution you're looking for to now pull an outside Hepner. breaking ball, but who cares? Next day's box Run. score, that's a line drive. Plate now, Blake Hunt. Now a ball line softly down the right field line. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. The batter. The third base. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Austin Shenton will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Kelly, base runner at first with one out. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. Gone! A two-run shot that gives them the lead. So it's a two-run shot to right center as they have taken the lead. It's now three to two.
Normally, this matchup is the last thing you want to see, left on left, but he kept his front shoulder square, stayed in that at bat, and absolutely demolished. Into the box, John Diaz. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. And he fouls this one off. Gotta believe that was a mislocation because it missed right down the middle. This guy's gonna have nightmares at the plate thinking about missing that one. Another one sent foul. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Ramos comes on now and makes the catch in shallow center for round number two. The left fielder, number 20. Next to hit is Nico Holsizer. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, this one's going to upset him for a little bit. You make the pitcher work the way he did right there, and that's the end result. He sticks with you for a while. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Wow, you know nine. he's not happy Short with that problem. call. When it crossed the plate, it sure looked like a strike to me. Edward. Seemed to catch a ton of the plate. That's a tough way to give up a walk, but he's got to put it behind him now. Into the box now, Xavier Edwards. One and two as the changeup had him out in front there. Wow, great pitch right there, right? Changing speeds. How about that straight changeup? How about that swing? Howdy, if you're waving at me. Ball. One two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Hit on the ground to short. He's got it. And he'll go the short way to retire the shot. Two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. We'll march on to the eighth. It's now a 3-2 ball game. Your Oliver Gray please. has been summoned from now the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 48, Oliver. Elliot Ramos will stride in again, and before he takes his cuts here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. The 1-1. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. So next to hit is Marco Luciano. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Now the one and one pitch. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. One, two. Now a swing and a ball grounded to second. Scooped up. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. Next up, Hunter Bishop. It was a walk in his last trip. One and one. Here it comes. 
And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. This one, everything we could have hoped for, three to two in inning number eight. Now a ball rolls softly to second, reined in. Throw to first, beats him easily, and the side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. Home half of the eighth, straight ahead. And Montgomery's out in front here, three to two. Carlos Sano is on to pitch out now of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 36, Carlos Sano. Inning number eight set to go, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Michael Gigliotti. Here comes the one two. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. People always talk about how important getting the leadoff men on base is, and, and it's now true. So, in the right eighth field. inning of a one run game, oh, yeah. that's a really nice job of attacking oh. a hitter and sending him packing. At the plate, Ryan Bolt. And I believe they'll say he played as yes he did. It's ruled a strike. Now a ball lined into left field. That's a base hit. Was so frustrating as a pitcher. You make a quality pitch on the inside half of the plate right there. Try to bust him in, D-Row, and he fights it off the other way. Yeah, you tip your hat right there. He executed his pitch, but nice job by the offensive player. Fighting. It doesn't matter what it looks like. A knock's a knock. Stepping in now, Miles Mastroboni. No. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Here's the 2 1 home. Fastball, and looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's 3 and 1. Bolt stands at first with one out. And a great location that time on the corner. Three and two now. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning. But that's also kind of risky at the same time. Fly ball right down the line and left. Left fielder giving chase. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. The first now with the play it is Dalton Kelly. He's Just one for there. two in this one. Yeah. A one one. Four, two. What a well executed fastball right there down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch you have to think up the Whoa. middle the other way and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. Set to deal on two and two. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. Ladies Tommy Hunter, Hunter takes the ball ten, now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 39, Tommy Hunter. Set for the start of the inning, and now it will be the catcher, Patrick Bailey. Ready with two balls and a strike. No. Down by a run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink this strike zone to like the size of a suit can. No reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch. The three-one. Swung on and missed, and that's strike two. This is on the for the first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Next will be the designated hitter, Luis Toribio, flew out last time up.
Here comes the one two. Hard liner to center field. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. Dan, how frustrating is that right there? You execute your spot, keep the ball down below the zone, and the hitter's still able to execute and drive it up the middle. You know, that's one of the things, Mark, as a pitcher, you're taught to work down in the zone. You're not always going to have the ball hit to one of your fielders, but if you consistently keep the ball down in the zone, good things will happen. So now to the plate, Jason Krizan. One ball and two strikes to count. One out, one on, and a one-run game. Breaking ball. ball as this runs in on him and he has to step Wait, out of the way that time. Strike. Just that missed with the 2-2 two -two count and it runs full now. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood in a broken bat. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. That's a big strike out there with the tying run over at first base. With two outs, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. Next to dig in, Jacob Gonzalez. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. One run game here in the top of the ninth. And this is swung on and missed. So now they find themselves down to their final strike tonight. That's how you open up the outside part of the plate. Pound two balls in, and they get right back outside. Nice pull. One two is the cut Three, two, fastball, two, two. but he holds back two and two. And now this crowd, a bit over thirty thousand strong, comes to their feet. Fouled away. For out number three, so that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run stranded at first. Hey, this was a pretty tightly played game. Got a little bit of everything in this one. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching, and defense in certain spots. This one was a fun one to watch. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. The Biscuits jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Lewis Head gets the W on the mound. So that will put a wrap on things here this evening. From our partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious Montgomery Biscuits. Three runs, six hits, two errors. They left five men on base. For the visitors, two runs on five hits, no errors, six men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 54 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Truett Park, 41,500. The Braves thank you for your continued support and remind you to please drive home safely.